Hello, welcome, and let's get started. We're going to make some really fun pumpkins. These are kind of odd shaped. Everything's a little bit different, different sizes. This one here is the large. And you can see you can use any kind of colors, make it any kind of sizes you want. This one here is the medium. Both of these are medium. As you can see, you can just do just about anything with colors and sizes of the top for the stem. And it's just a fun project to do. And um, let's get started on this. Here are some guidelines for sizes to make a small, medium, and large pumpkin. We are going to make the medium one today, which is the 5 inches by 10 inches. Whatever size you do make, just make the length double your width. I will be using a medium weight number 4 100% acrylic yarn. We will use two strands. Start by leaving about a 12 inch tail. Let's tie a slip knot. Today I'll be making the medium size pumpkin. I'm going to start with the chain 16. You should have about 5 inches or 13 centimeters. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we're going to do single crochet. Because we have the two yarns, make sure you go through both. And then we can single crochet all the way across. Once you have reached the end, you can chain one and turn. We will then start in that very first stitch, but we're going to go into the back loop. So we're going to do back loop only, single crochet. So into that back loop, going all the way across, and making sure that you have the same amount of stitches in each row. Once you have reached the end, you can chain one and turn. Again, starting in that very first stitch there, back loop only, we'll do another 15 single crochet, or whatever your number is. Stop when your length is double that of your width. So mine will be about 10 inches, because I'm going with the medium size, 5 inches by 10 inches. Also stop with the yarn on the same end as where you started. We can then fold this in half. We are going to do slip stitches down the side. So starting on this first side, we're going to go into that first stitch. And then on the other end, going into the first stitch as well. And then we will do a slip stitch. Make sure you're pulling both yarns through. And didn't work, so I'm just going to start that over. Let's start that over here. So going into the first one, and then across to the other side. And let's get that slip stitch. Pulling it through both. The first one sometimes is a little tricky.
So then we can continue down. So going through the one on the other side and pulling all the way through. And continue down the side. Once you've reached the end, you'll see that it's kind of got a little bump. So this is going to be the inside of our pumpkin. So at the end, we'll just chain one and cut our yarn, again leaving about 12 inches. This will be the bottom of our pumpkin. Take your darning needle and we're going to weave this end closed. So just find any spot you like and just go in and out all the way around. Once you've reached all the way around, just pull snug. Sometimes it takes a little bit of maneuvering around, but just pull it all snug. We can then weave the hole closed. We can then tie a knot and then bring the end to the right side. So tie a knot and then stick your darning needle in and we're going to turn our pumpkin right side out. Make sure both strands get pulled through. Mine just slipped out. So I will just rethread that and pull it through to the bottom. We will leave this to the very end. We can now stuff the pumpkin. So you can put as much or as little stuffing in as you like, just however firm or soft you would like the pumpkin. Once you are happy with the size of your pumpkin and how it is stuffed, we will just grab a single yarn of a different color 
to start crocheting along the top. Just insert your hook into any space, pull up the yarn, and we will do single crochet. So we're going to do one at the top of each row. So just start anywhere. Pull up your yarn. Start with that chain one and then single crochet. Try to do at least one at the end of each row. slip stitch to join this row, chain one, and for our next row we're going to do single crochet decrease. So we're going to put two together. So starting in the first one, pull up a loop, go into the second one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So let's do these two single crochet together all the way along the top. Try to keep your tension a little, a little bit tighter. So this here I would say is a bit too loose. So I'm just going to undo that one and I'm going to try to keep the tension a bit tighter just so the stitches are, are uh, closer together. For our next row we can just continue around. We don't have to really join the rows but we're going to do one decrease and then two single crochet. So we're going to keep going around until we have about eight stitches left around that top circle. Just around here, just keep going until there's eight. So we're just going to stop this top portion right here and we will continue it after but we're going to take our other yarn and we're going to weave in and out of the top portion of the pumpkin. So 
So just find any spot and weave that tail in and out all the way around. We can pull as we go and keep pulling it until it's the look that you want of your pumpkin. Remember, these pumpkins are not perfect. Once you have about the size that you'd like at the bottom of that stem, because you can see on this yellow one, it's a little bit narrower there, but whatever size you'd like, that one's a little taller, this one here you can see is a little bit wider at the bottom and then it's got the tiny stem. So you can pull as tight as you want on this, whatever look you're going for. So once you pull it then to your right size, then we're going to tie a little knot. So after you tie the knot, then we're going to take our needle and we're going to put it into the center of our pumpkin and we're going to pull it right down to the bottom. So you'll notice on the one side, it will kind of pull that pumpkin down on the one side. So let's just get our little knot in here and then put our needle through. We're going to bring it right down to the bottom. And just push it all the way through and once you find it on the other side. Make sure both the yarns have come through. Just kind of fixing the top part here. So we will tie the bottom portion last. So now we can finish the rest of the stem. So just do single crochet around until you have your desired length of the stem. We can then add a little bit more stuffing into the stem. So you can cut your yarn and leave the stem like this, or I'm going to just make it a little, um, a little bit taller. So I'm just going to close up some of this. I'm going to do some two single crochet together just for a couple rounds. And then once I kind of like that size and shape, I will cut my yarn and pull it through. So I think I like that. So I'm just going to cut my yarn. Leave a long enough tail as well so you can weave in anything else or some holes or gaps. 
So once that gets pulled down, you can kind of see your shape. I think I'm going to put a little bit more stuffing in the top just to fill it up. So with my darning needle, I'm just going to close the top and then I'm just going to go in and out. Sometimes there's some little gaps, I don't want to see it. And remember, the messier the better. Pumpkins are not perfect. And then at the end we can just hide our yarn. So just pull it through to the middle and once we cut it it just kind of hides into the middle. So now the last thing we need to do is just pull that stem down into the pumpkin. So with the yarn down below you can see when you pull it, it kind of pulls it down sideways which gives it that tilting look which is really great. So just pull as tight as you want and then once you have it at, at the shape and tightness that you want, just tie that knot. I usually make about three knots here. You can either just cut your yarn, but I kind of like to just weave it into the center and it just disappears. And there you have it, your little pumpkin. Like I say, this is the medium size here. You can make the larger one, smaller, or really any size you like. I think the crazier the better, any size at top, um, any colors really. Uh, sometimes for the top portion too, I've used jute for the stem and it creates a really nice look as well. Happy pumpkin making. If you like this video and you wanna see more, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks.